Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's lesson, and as part of our procurement series, we'll go through invoice processing by making reference to a purchase order. The process of purchase order, goods receipt or service entry sheet, and invoice verification enforces the three-way match functionality to make sure the value of our purchase order equals our goods receipt value and the value of our invoice equals the value of our goods receipt. To start off, I'm going to display the purchase order we work with. So I specify my PO number and check under my purchase order history tab. You can see that a material document has been created that shows the receipt of the 33 millimeter pipe in the quantity of 160 units at the specified value as shown on my screen. We have already gone through the lesson of creating a goods receipt document against the PO. You can follow the link on the screen if you have not watched this video yet. So moving straight to our creating supplier invoice transaction, We'll go ahead and specify our invoice date, as well as our invoice reference number. Then ensure that the entry here specify that we are making reference to a purchase order. Indicate our purchase order number. And also ensure that the option selected in this field is for goods or service items. Since we have no planned delivery cost indicated in the purchase order we are working with. Entering our inform information, we can see the line item of our purchase order is reflected down below here, as well as the value of the proposed purchase order against its respective goods receipt value. And checking our purchase order under the invoice tab, you can see for the task code region, there's no entry made here for this specific PO. So we go ahead and replicate same in our invoice documents. So next off, we can go ahead and indicate our invoice, our baseline date, So I'm working with today's date, then enter in the information for our invoice value, which then will offset the balance that was dated on our PO and respectively our goods receipt value. With information like our payment methods and payment terms, these are automatically updated using the vendor master record. So whatever information has been maintained here in regards to the payment terms and the payment method would then automatically populate in their respective fields. Simulating our entries, we will then see the respective general ledger accounts that are affected by this posting. So here you can see the vendor accounts and the clearing accounts, which is our goods received and invoice received GL accounts would be credited and debited respectively as shown on my screen. So I can go ahead and post my invoice document. Now you can see here that an invoice document number has been created, which then going back to our purchase order number, we can see that information is updated in our purchase order history.
So, with the material documents we saw initially, you can see that the purchase order has been updated with the invoice documents that was created for the same value of 878.81 US dollars. This brings us to the, less, the end of the lesson for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to view more videos in regards to our procurement. Thank you.